जॉइन क्विकली जॉइन करो जॉइन कर मोबाइल नहीं जा Yes, very good afternoon, children. So join as early as possible. Yes. So today I would like to discuss question answers of Meadow surprises. Anybody has got any confusion regarding this previous, uh, you know, poem? What I have already discussed. This poem it was about Meadow surprises, meaning nature. Nature is bestowed us with all blessings. If we go and if you just open your inner eyes and soul and open your ear okay inner ear i must say you can easily see this one okay so without this you can't see okay so without this you can't see that one so we need that inner thing okay that our soul should be pure enough so that we can see this one so one suggestion is that in a small poem our poet can show all the things but if you really want to discover the beauty in nature you have to go very close to the nature okay you have to go very close to the nature so anybody has got any doubts so you just write it So you can tell okay so my dear children so let me if you do not have any questions so let me directly discuss uh, question answers okay so you understood this it was a very beautiful poem okay meadows have uh, you know it has many surprises that velvet the green grass if you walk it gives us a cushion effect velvet type of grass okay sometimes uh, you know uh, we can find it here in ambuja it is there in uh, temple you will find the same thing and it gives us a cushion effect if you walk on bare feet so you will really enjoy and next is that um, we have different barrows so it has also its beauty we have rabbit we have many animals small small animals we have nest also so all these things are giving us pleasure to you know uh, to go uh, very close to them and get the pleasure of this natural thing so now my dear children if you do not have any doubts so let me just discuss question answers okay so our first question is that read the lines in which the following phrases occur okay then discuss with your partner the meaning of each phrase in its context so first of all velvet grass now what is velvet grass as i have already said here see answer i have written it here you can see okay the meadows are covered with velvet grass this velvet grass it's just we can say that soft grass okay soft grass if you walk or uh, if you walk in this same surface in barefoot that time you will get the pleasure of that very soft grass okay which are very soft to walking if you walk you will really understand it gives us a velvet meaning soft effect on our feet so this is called velvet grass here 
okay you understood and next is, meaning is drinking straw drinking straw next is the drinking straw now what is drinking straw here okay one question is there when in a buttercup buttercup is the name of a flower okay in that one butterfly is coming and sitting on it and taking rest okay after taking rest on it what it is doing it is trying to you know uh, suck the nectar from that flower okay and it has long proboscis okay it means that it's just like a sting we can say it has okay and with the help of that it try to uh, you know suck the full nectar full honey from that so this is called you know uh, drinking straws got it so next is amazing mount amazing mount also i have discussed okay so here meadow house means the open place covered with grass meadow house means what okay open place which is covered with grass where different type of creatures are living isn't it do you know aapke jo mitti mein khelte ho aapko kitna sara keeda makoda dikh jata hai kabhi socho wo sab kaha rehte yes they are living in meadow houses meaning mitti ka ghar jo mitti mein hi rehte hain wo log okay so meadow houses means the open place covered with grass okay and where creatures like corn corn the creatures they like rabbit snakes ants etc and make burrows or mounds okay burrows meaning the hole where these creatures are living okay and ant hill you have seen mounds ant hill so this is one type of you know house they are making for themselves so we all this we can call it what amazing mount okay here also if you walk or if you go very close to that meadows you will find all these things have you ever searched anyone have searched this one so one day you search and you just try to match our poets imagination poets writing with you only you will get the full similarity because it really gives us pleasure and enjoyment so these three word meaning these phrases i have already discussed now next one is now uh, amazing mound here so here amazing mound you can see here okay mound is a small hill okay what is uh, here mouse uh, sorry uh, mound meaning mound is just like a small hill okay small small hill you have seen okay and ants they have collected soil particles which looks like a wonderful mound you know you have ever seen small ants they are just going uh, with uh, you know uh, just like a big line they are going here and there sometimes at uh, in your house also you will find the same thing okay what they are doing they are just storing you know food for their bad times of winters okay and they are making you know that ant hill we can call they are just trying to make mound which is called small hill and ants they collect it soil particles they take it they make it they collect small small you know particles of soil <coughs> what we can't see all the time but they are carrying it okay and after collecting all these things it will look like small hill okay which looks like a wonderful mount a very beautiful mount but remember don't try to touch it otherwise you will face the music you will face danger in that so be very careful while you will find it those who are residing in colony those who are residing in manikar and all just just jahan pe aap log ho in this surroundings because i have seen it in i know school also agar aap school khula rahe the to main aapko zarur dikha deti okay so you can see the same thing there okay so now next one another phrase is that fuzzy hat fuzzy hat also we got what is fuzzy fuzzy hat here see here fuzzy hat is the puffy tuft okay puffy tuft of the dandelion which flowers in the year 
just like parachute it looks like parachute which is filled with full of fire and if you just blow it okay then what will happen all these things that particles will just fall down uh, with the, the you know on floor only so this is called fuzzy hat okay it's a puffy tuft is a puffy tuft of the dandelion which floats in the air so these are the five phrases i have discussed with you children you have to write this answers also in your notebook okay so now next question so next question is that which line in the poem suggest that you need a keen eye and a sharp ear to enjoy a meadow which line in the poem suggest that you need a keen eye and a sharp ear to enjoy a meadow read aloud the stanza that contains this line so now you have to do the same thing the line is if you look and listen well this is the most important line if you look and listen well meaning all abcd can't listen it properly they can't see it because for this beauty of nature you need to have inner eyes and inner ear until or unless you can't go and see and touch the same thing you can't feel it also so the stanza is given below which you may read aloud okay oh meadows have many surprises oh meadows have surprises and many things to tell so this is the very wonderful line meadows have surprises and many things to tell you may discover this yourself if you look and listen well so this is the most important and very beautiful line okay so my dear children you just read this question answers and try to write it and try to understand the meaning of this line okay meadows have surprises and many things to tell but in this short poem our poet is unable to express all the things here that's why he is suggesting to you you may discover this yourself so if you really were go if you really like nature you have to go very close to the nature you have to worship nature you have to stay with nature then you can look and listen everything properly or else you can't if you do not have this sense then you can't progress at all so my dear children you understood i hope so yes next is acha just for discussion i am just discussing this one these are activities only find pictures of these kinds of birds my dear children you just paste the pictures or you can draw pictures or insects and scenes mentioned in the poem theek okay? hai so you have to collect pictures or if you do not unable to go outside you can draw also you can draw pictures of birds insects or many natural beauty natural scene you can do the same thing this is a very a wonderful activity i must suggest you to do the same okay in your notebook only it's a very beautiful time pass and it will help you if you draw something it will really help you to improve your handwriting also so please carry on this one don't skip this one okay so next again another one question for watch a tree or plant again another i must say activity or walk across a field or park at the same time every day for a week okay so keep a diary of what you see and hear at the end of the week write a short paragraph or poem about your experiences put your writing up on the class bulletin board but now i don't have class bulletin board or you can post it to me i'll post it in your group theek okay? hai so this is all about this poem and question answers and tomorrow 
I will just take you know um, what it is called not tomorrow next class I am planning to take one quiz uh, regarding this lesson only okay small questions uh, multiple choice question will be there so you have to be ready so here meadows surprises meaning what the poet says meadows offer surprises meaning meadows if you find if you go close to the nature you will get many surprises what are these we see a butterfly resting upon a buttercup number one the next the rabbit when it hops and the dandelion flutters when air blows poet wishes to explore the meadows to find about the burrows nest and ants mound but for this we have to look and listen as well meaning we need to have these inner eyes and inner ear then only we can go very close to that and we can see the see the same and enjoy the nature so sometimes i have observed here in the rainy days if rain comes children they like to enjoy like anything they want to go outside of their house and want to play in that this is also one type of natural beauty during the summer season also we are sweating like anything we are just fanning ourselves it is also one type of beauty what we can feel and we are do you know we are very blessed with our environment so my dear children don't waste it how you can say we are very blessed meaning what we have many seasons here we have summer we have winter we have autumn also i must say but autumn basically is not for here but we can feel the same we have rainy season also but in other places most of the places they don't have any summer season okay we have day we have night so we should enjoy everything so the meadow offers several surprises to the one who has an eager eye to look at and and the meadow what i have said same line i have written for you here also we need to have inner eyes eager i mean what we need to have inner eye to look at the meadow got it so now walking on the soft velvety grass the sound of the brook a butterfly sipping nectar from the flowers all such sights give immense pleasure these sights are no less than the nature's surprise gift understood so that velvety grass if you walk on it and the sound of brook if you go very close to the nature when nobody will be there then you can see, you can listen the you know sound of brook i listened and its sound is just awesome nobody can compare with that sound to anyone have you ever heard of sound of you know uh, what don't disturb now okay uh, sound of uh, what it is called waterfalls then uh, butterfly sipping nectar from the flowers have you ever seen that butterflies you have seen and you know, you know in our childhood days we played a lot with butterflies in our house there are many kinds of butterflies used to come okay my mother she had gar you know very wonderful habit of doing gardening and flowers were there so they are often we used to play with that you know <laughs> butterfly colorful butterflies yellow red brown many colors white so it really gives us very immense pleasure and next all such sights give immense pleasure the sights are no less than the nature's surprise gift okay so we should enjoy this thing and next walking further on you may find a rabbit hidden in the grass a rabbit is also really very beautiful it looks so cute one may not be able to see it instantly because it remains silent and sitting very quietly but soon it would hop in front of you because it would be scared it will start hopping a dandelion is a type of flower that was golden a couple of days ago would have also bloomed so all these beautiful things if you go very close to that nature then only you can see
okay and one could find several houses in the meadow so many things we have learned here from this poem first all meadow surprises what are the things velvet is grass then sound of brook then the butterflies and then all this next is about rabbit okay then about flowers buttercup dandelion and next is meadow houses okay houses in the meadows okay so you will find burrows burrows in the ground meaning hole in the ground where we we can call it burrows and be different small small creatures animals are living in that okay and nest also beneath the tall grasses and mounds of ants these are also very surprising thing for us they are making no there are no engineers no doctors nobody is going very close to them nobody is going they are surviving themselves without anyone's help have ants come to you to take help no any birds are coming to take help बार्स नहीं आते हम लोग बार्स को खींच के पकड़ के पिंजरे में भर देते वी आर वेरी नॉटी वी आर नॉट गुड कितने लोग बार्स को पिंजरे में रखते हो अच्छी बात है क्या बिल्कुल नहीं अच्छी बात है मैं तो जिंदगी में बार्स पिंजरे में पसंद नहीं आता है अगर आपका मानो आपके घर में छोटा भाई और मम्मी को छो मम्मी से छीन लिया किसी ने जाके उसको एक पिंजरे में बंद करके रख दिया और आप लोग को जाने भी नहीं देते होंगे हाँ तो आपको हाउ विल यू फील you will feel very bad na so don't keep bars in a cage not even animals also i don't prefer to keep animals under cage okay so for every person there would be some or the other surprise so let them live in a free mode let them live in this you know blessings of that nature so let them enjoy this life and we can also enjoy then our society will be good and our surroundings will be good our environment will be safe and sound so got my point my dear children now anybody has got any doubt regarding the same lesson so you just ask me your doubts and poem i have already discussed so i'll not go back so my dear children if you have any doubts regarding this lesson you can write it now anybody मैम अजीत है सिक्स प्यार्स ऑफ कबूतर ओ माई गॉड आजाद कर दो क्या जा रहा है Vijay and one pair of lovers. Oh my God! Why are you keeping all these things? You understood this poem? Okay. Anybody has got any doubt regarding the same? You can write. Acha Bani Trivedi. She is attending every day her class, but yesterday competition was there. She she was absent. Why? I just want to know. Huh? And many of the children they didn't speak at all. They were present, but they are you know. they are virtually present but actually they were absent this is not the way ha huh? chinmay bodane so dear children whenever you will be present you should take active part you are getting good opportunities to speak we are allowing all the children to speak so this kind of competition i'll also take next i'll take one speech competition and you have to prepare and zoom link i'll send and there you will attend and we'll conduct the same theek hai and today all of you just write down this poem and next class i'll conduct quiz on this same chapter okay same chapter ka quiz rahega so please be ready with that kisi ko koi doubt hai to jaldi jaldi puch lo
class will be there tomorrow patra sir's class uh, tomorrow holiday is holiday is there then no class if there is holiday then no class then day after tomorrow No. This is a this is our manthan gagar kunde. <laughs> Disturbing manthan. No classes. If there is holiday, I didn't get any notice till now. Then no. When your school start, please keep listening, uh, you know, news and um, when government will allow us and you, you, your parents will allow it. Because for us, though, it's open only. Okay. So, if there is no questions, so my dear children, I am winding up my class. Okay. Thank you for attending. So, all of you just write down this question answers. Okay. It's my suggestion. You just write down this question answer and next class. I am going to conduct one, you know, uh, short quiz in this same, uh, you know, chapter will be same only. So, read the lesson, read this poem, read this question answers and I hope you will easily answer the, all these question answers. Okay. So, thank you for attending this class. Thank you very much. Happy Sankram to all of you. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you.